Hey guys, so welcome back to Let's Reads. Welcome back to Vlogmas. So in this video, I am going to be talking about a certain movement or, um, well, yeah, a movement in time uh, that clearly deals with, you know, Black individuals and literature and art and everything. And that movement is the Black Arts Movement. Now, I just recently, I would say a couple months ago, um, really heavily learned about this movement. Wanted to know more about this movement after I read um, about how they compared it to the Harlem Renaissance. They actually call it the second Renaissance. And as you guys know, the Harlem Renaissance, that is my ish, okay? I absolutely adore that era. I love the art, the music, the literature. It's just beyond amazing, okay? So when I saw that, I said, oh yeah, I have to really dig and excavate when it comes to this time in, you know, history. Um, and so I wanted to share with you guys some books and things that I have gotten um, for me to learn even more about this movement. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the Black Arts Movement, I have my notes here. Um, it was from 1965 to 1975. And it's known as the Furious Flowering. Um, now, the founder of this um, movement was Amari Baraka. Um, he is a poet, writer, everything. And the reason why this movement really started, um, after the assassination of Malcolm X, um, that's when he heavily just wanted to really cultivate Black art, uh literature just everything when it comes to black experiences black culture but with this movement as opposed to the harlem renaissance they focus heavily on um like awakened black consciousness more like a political statement um and you make that political statement through the literature through um art and music and things like that and it's more bold as opposed to from the harlem renaissance things were kind of kind of you know discreet a little bit um if you notice with the harlem renaissance the main subjects are like passing and also sexuality um there are a lot of um males and during that time that wrote that were you know they struggled with their sexuality and they couldn't just come out and say that okay um but with the black arts movement there's like if you whatever you are please tell us come as you are and we will not judge you. So their political stance was more bold, uh, more in your face. So let's talk about some people from this movement. First is Sonia Sanchez. Now Sonia Sanchez, she is a poet um, and she is still with us. Now I only have one book or collective, um, you know, collective poems by her. Um, and it's this, I think this came out, I want to say, this came out last year. Um, so it's, you know, some collective poems of hers. I'm not really into poetry. I've gotten into it more. I literally like two poets, which is who? Langston Hughes and um, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. But I am want to get into more poetry, especially with this movement, because it's really heavily influenced. Um, so this, I said, oh, I, you know, I have to get. Um, and Sonia Sanchez, she is known as the mother of the movement. Um, and I can really see that because if you have, you know, read her works or listened to interviews, she, <laughs> that phrase is perfect for her. Okay, um, next would be Nikki Giovanni. And I have this, uh, the Collective Poems of Nikki Giovanni. This is from 1968 to 1998. With her poetry, it's real, um, clearly it's political, it's Black pride. It's just everything when it comes to Blackness um Nikki Giovanni talks about and, um a next key figure is Gwendolyn Brooks and Gwendolyn Brooks we all know that she is a beautiful poet um and I mean G Gwendolyn was a goat okay I have this it's called Blacks this is fantastic this has almost all of her poetry it also has her one uh novel that she uh wrote was it uh Maude uh Martha and oh my goodness, I think the favorite, my favorite poem by her, well, I mean, of course, We Real Cool. I mean, come on now, let's, she's like known for that one. I would say um, it's called, the collection's called In the Mecca. And it talks about Mecca Evers. She has poems about Mecca Evers, uh, Malcolm X, um, who else? The Blackstone Ranger. I mean, everything. So this I would urge you guys to really get this is fantastic and i just love the simplicity of it it's just so pretty 
And then um, the next book that I have is actually an anthology. You guys know I live for anthologies, especially when I'm trying to learn about a certain, um, you know, time in our history, literature, everything. Always get an anthology because it has numerous people that you know, you know, if you're going to like or not like, you can pick and choose. So this is actually by uh, Dudley Randall, and he was a key figure to the um, Black arts movement. So um, he is a poet. But he founded um, a uh, publishing uh, company called Broadside uh, Press in 1965. And it actually um, published, you know, people like Sonia Sanchez and Gwendolyn Brooks, Amari Baraka, um, who else? Larry Neal. I mean, so many. So he was a pioneer. And if it wasn't for him, a lot of these works, it really wouldn't be out. Lee Randall, amazing. And this has... Um, Poems by, let's see, we have um, Larry Neal, we have Sonia Sanchez, uh, John uh, Raven, Arda Bottom, um, who else, Jean Toomer, Langston Hughes, just so much. So I was really glad to get this because again, like I said, I'm not into poetry like that and this is going to be perfect for me. Um, so yeah. Okay. Also to another anthology that I want to get and I don't have, um, it actually was called Black Fire and it was edited by Amari Baraka and Larry Neal. Um, it was published in 1968. And so I really want to get that because it was like during the heart of, you know, that movement. So I have to get that. I love this, this new cover um, that they have. It's so pretty. So that is one thing I'm going to get. Um, let's see. Some other authors that are known from that um, that time is Maya Angelou would be one, um, Rosa Guy, Audre Lorde, which I don't have any Audre Lorde works. I need to change that. Um, who else? Um, Into Shockey Strange, you know, she wrote uh, For Color Girls Who Have Committed Suicide When the Rainbow is Enough. I actually have that and I have um, this set, um, Sapphiris cypress and indigo really love this this is so good um it's about three sisters and then of course for colored girls i have this edition one author that i really want to highlight he will be known as kind of like a uh like the unsung writer during this time um his name is henry dumas henry dumas he actually wrote uh poetry and short stories and he was discovered by tony morrison uh tony morrison uh actually called him an absolute genius he has a way of capturing the reader where you don't want to let go um even with his uh poetry his words he's so lyrical but at the same time he doesn't over describe it's if you haven't read Henry Dumas please read him because he was a fantastic uh writer now sadly with Henry um he actually was killed um in 1968 he was shot at the age of 33 um it was misidentification after his death that's when he really you know his name really started to uh you know come out and especially in this movement so i know he is known for um uh his poetry collection play uh ebony play ivory and then he has a short stories a short story collection called arc of bones um and that was published in 1974 and that was published because of tony morrison so tony morrison she really heavily put his works out there because she wanted the world to know about this amazing man um and yeah i think it's so sad because when you realize how he died um yeah but i would urge you guys to get this now this actually has just um some selected short stories it doesn't have any of his uh poetry but i do know it is sometimes hard to get the collection of the short stories so i was really excited to get this i do have to get um his collection of poetry because again he is known for the you know poems and i do want to get that and then another book that is just gonna help me out um that i bought recently I actually got it from a store called second and charles it's like um I was going to say Bible, but no, it ain't nothing like the Bible with the Bible. Oh, uh, it's like an encyclopedia. Uh, so it literally has anything that you can just name. And when anything has a four by Henry Louis Gates or it's his name's attached to it, I always get it because he is known for black literature when it comes to knowing everything about it. Henry Louis Gates, if you see his name on it, you already know it is a win-win. He knows everything, okay? So um, when I saw it was a forward by him, I had to get it. And like I said, this is, a, it's it's literally like a dictionary um, and it has so much. So I have been using this just to learn more about the movement and more uh, people. And you guys know I'm always, when it comes to 
anything literature, I always go to the, uh, you know, the hidden gems, the underdogs of, you know, uh, the literature and, and writers. That's why I think I gravitated towards Henry Dumas. I just always like, you know, like the unsung um, people because a lot of times their works are just amazing. So this is really, really, really uh, helped me. It is the um, Oxford Companion to African American Literature. I think there is another um, volume of this. I am not sure because this came out some years ago. I want to say this came out. Yeah, this came out in 1997. So I know that there is another, you know, volume of this, um, especially an updated one, which I need to look up that because this has just been amazing. Um for me especially when I'm learning about this movement so yeah guys that's all I have when it comes to uh the black arts movement again I saw that was you know the second Harlem Renaissance you already know I had to eat it up because that is just my stuff all right also since it is vlogmas again I have to mention my three songs that I will be listening to today okay let's get to it first song i'm going to be listening to today is snoop dogg uh santa claus goes straight to the ghetto yeah christmas eve i'm out with the gangsters and thieves celebrated posted y'all i love that song okay that is my tune the next song i'm going to be listening to is uh the supremes my favorite thing raindrops and roses and whiskers on kittens absolutely adore this version i mean it's the supremes come on now and then the last song I'm going to be listening to is TLC Slay Ride. I grew up listening to this and I love the video. So yeah, those are my three songs that I'm going to be listening to today. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you. I'll be back with more Black Books. Bye.